Hello, I'm Loredana and today I will show you our D-Type web application demo that allows you to interact with our implementation of a decentralized type system on Ethereum. The first type that we have introduced in our type registry is the type definition for the registry itself. So meta, right? So this is what the registry stores for each type. The contract address of the type, markers to see what kind of type it is, labels and types for its components. Also the type name and source hash, which is the swarm hash for where you can find the source code for the types library and contracts. Then you can browse through the types that we have already inserted in the registry. From the native ones that Solidity provides, such as string and address, to some complex ones that we have added as an example. So let's look more closely at this type A. Type A has a uint and an address in its composition. These are the types for a balance and a token address. Now this type already has some data entries attached to it and we can see them here in the bottom of the page. We can also insert more data. And it already shows up because we are using Ganache as a testnet. Now, here we can see a list of functions that use this type as an input. So we have the set state function that is deployed on this contract right here. And it takes in an input of type A and outputs a type B. We can look at it more closely. And we can also check out type B and how it looks. So type B has a, a state component and a type A component. So the first one is an uint and the second one is of type A. And we also have a couple of data entries here for this. Uh, some values are in hex. But going back to the set state function, this is how it looks. Takes in a type A variable, outputs a type V variable, and all it does is just sets the state variable as half of the balance from type A and then copies the type A variable inside and returns. Now for some of the magic. We can run this set staked function directly from the browser. And we just take one of the data entries that we have here, for example, this one. This has a balance of 100. And just run the function. What we expect to see when we go to type B is an additional entry that has staked 50 and then the type A with balance 100. And this is what we have right here. Awesome. So how does this work under the hood? We have a type registry contract that stores the types and references to the types contract address and sources. The types contract address has a reference to the type library and the storage contract for that type. So how does a type library look like? And we can see for type A that this is how it looks. So it has the structure type A defined here, along with a couple of helper functions. And we also have a map function here if we want to iterate through type A arrays. An example of type storage contract is this. We are using the type A definition from the type A library, and then we implement some storage here with insert, remove, update, etc. Now, we also have libraries or contracts with pure functions, like our set state function. Each function is a type in itself, so it gets stored in the type registry. Now, how do they interact with one another? 
our type registry implements a run function. This run function gets the set state function hash and an array of data entry hashes. In our case, it's an array with one type A data entry. Now, this type registry contract has the data entry hash, knows the type of that data entry, so it can get to the storage contract of that type and get the actual data. Now, it also knows the, func the type hash for our set state function. So it can get the contract address where it's actually implemented and call it with the data that we got earlier. It gets the output from the function and it knows that it has to insert this output in the type B's storage contract and we have the address for this. So again, it inserts or updates or whatever we need it to do and then returns the data hashes for the data entry that was inserted. And voila, you have the basis for a global functional programming system on Ethereum, where you can chain pure functions, such as set state, that do not have side effects, and have a separate secure storage system for data. If you want to know more about this, and how it helps build the world computer on Ethereum, watch our other videos about D-Type and you will also find some of them linked in the description. Thanks for watching.